You guys, I am just recovering from a mini panic attack. I was setting my camera down because I got a new tripod. We don't have to rest my camera on books anymore and it just fell down. I need to get insurance on my camera right now. Oh my God. Um, let me do that and then I'll be back to start the vlog. Today, this is going to be a vlog. I'm sorry the vlog had to start off with you being worried about my camera's well-being, but Caleb and I are going into the city and we're going to watch To Kill a Mockingbird today on Broadway. And we're really, really excited about that. I'm gonna try one more time with this tripod. I got it from, um, I got it from Amazon and people really liked it. So I'm surprised that my camera literally fell off the table stand and onto the floor. I literally had a panic attack. I'm still recovering. Okay, so I'm not gonna do that because that clearly wasn't working. This is gonna be challenging, holding this camera the whole time. Ooh, oh. All right, you guys, I think I can finally start this vlog now. Um, panic attack some dude. I still have to figure out how to get insurance on this camera because this is, I'm gonna be traveling with this. I don't wanna break it, so I gotta figure it out. It's been a while since I vlogged. The last time I vlogged was in June 2019, and that was when Caleb and I went to Mexico for the first time, and since then, We've been to Canada, Florida, Boston, and back to Mexico. So we've had a lot of trips in the intermediate between then and now. I didn't vlog during those trips. I took a lot of pictures. In my recent tri trip to Mexico, I did take a lot of videos and it was such a blast. Oh my God. I love going on vacation, y'all, and with the right amount of planning and if you're diligent with saving, you can just enjoy vacations. You just have to be smart and good at finding deals and what Google has enabled us to do in this age of technology is you can sit down, research, and find yourself a good deal. Now, what's irritating me currently is this coronavirus. This coronavirus is ruin ruining my vacation planning. At the beginning of the year, Caleb and I sit down and we pick places that we want to go to. So we landed on Mexico, obviously, Portugal, Iceland, and Disney. Disney was going to be the first trip. I misspoke here. Disney was supposed to be the second trip because we went to Mexico in February. That was planned for Memorial Day. As coronavirus started spreading throughout the globe, we were like, hey, actually, you know, Disney would kind of be the worst place to be and missed an outbreak. And they might close down the parks if this gets super bad. So this is clearly an inconvenience to the vacations I had planned for 2020. But beyond my first world problems, this is actually a huge problem because we know America is a huge gig economy. Tons of people work in restaurants, tons of people drive Uber and taxis, tons of people work in retail. And in essence, tons of people do not have sick days or work from home options. And this disease, literally, if it gets as bad as it's sounding like it's going to get, people are going to be out of work, the economy is going to crash, and there's just a lot of pressure. And this is why you see that the markets are doing terribly right now in the past two weeks because investors are scared, literally. There is no cure, there is no vaccination, 
for this at all. Who is interrupting my vlog right now? That's not Caleb. Usually in New York apartments, especially in old buildings, like someone will press your buzzer if they want to be let in, but I don't know who that could be. It could be an Amazon delivery guy. Please stop breaking my phone. They're gonna interrupt this video. Inconvenience, inconvenience. Um, anyway, <laughs> let's just go on. Um, so where was I? Investors are panicking. There is no cure for this disease yet. Uh, the rate of transmission is growing at a rapid rate. There's nine cases in New York right now. I'm sure there's more cases than what's being reported just because people are going to be fearful to go and get tested and all that. There has to be more than nine cases in New York, but that's why investors are very pessimistic about the economy. And just a little like lesson on the stock, stock market. I know people who aren't really well versed in financial jargon like don't really understand what people mean by the s p 500 or things like oh the dow fell x points i'll just do a little uh, summary but of course i'll be making a video on investing soon frankie's voice has been having trouble figuring out how to edit because honestly video editing is difficult i don't know how people do it but editing videos is so hard why don't you think of the stock market as think of a bowl and there's a bunch of eggs in it and each egg represents a stock of a company think goldman think apple think target and obviously each of those companies is worth a different price to investors apple could be selling at 300 per share and google could be a thousand per share they're all or different prices and how you get the stock price is you would multiply the earnings per share times the price to earnings ratio which gives you the stock price now what drives stock prices up and down it's demand you're back yeah, I'm making a video I didn't know it was you what happened so Caleb is back I was making a video. I was making a vlog. Wow. This vlog isn't doing great. Come here, baby. Wait, wait. Come join the discussion. I told I told the people that it couldn't be you because you were gone. I was like, oh, it's probably Amazon, and mm -hmm. I'm not gonna answer. But I was explaining basically what's been going on with the stock market and demand. Oh. I was basically saying investors are pessimistic, mm -hmm. so there's a massive sell-off. Everyone's selling their shares like crazy. And when you sell things because you don't want them anymore, demand for them goes down, thereby dropping the stock price. And so when you hear people saying, oh, the S&P 500 went down this many points, that's because but people just deciding that they didn't want their stocks anymore. Mm -hmm. And that's why people are freaking out. Yeah. But... This vlog got interrupted so many times, man. I dropped my camera. Oh no. I was like, <gasps> and then I like stopped to try and figure out how to get insurance on it, but I emailed Canon, Canon uh. to figure out if I could get buy their insurance, even though I bought this camera from Best Buy. Uh, and then well, I don't to think the insurance out. will work even if, if you dropped it. Yeah, it is. It covers uh. accidental damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, this is my baby. I can't. Yeah. I can drop my computer. How much was the insurance a month? Um, it was sixty nine dollars a year, hmm. or sixty nine dollars for three years. Hmm. So, yeah. Well, you're back from your singing lessons. I had to walk to the library because I returned the book, but I still saying I did it. Hmm. If I have to call a different library branch. I told everyone we're watching To Kill a Mockingbird and we're excited. Yeah, that was going to be fun. Yeah, we're taking a big risk going out into the city during this coronavirus scare. I kind of scared. But I mean, look, we've taken the subway all week. If we're infected, we're just not symptomatic at all, which is great. But they say that only lasts for 28 days, then you're as sick as a dog. 
um i also cannot take this camera to the theater so the rest of the vlog will be grainy quality on my iphone but you get the you get the the sense of it um but yeah this is what happens when i try to vlog i get interrupted i jump from topic to topic but you know as frankie's voice we're walking to the schubert theater in Times square so there's people basically everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> caleb is navigating because only one person should be navigating at a time otherwise there's disagreements about <laughs> which direction to go yeah. So what I was saying earlier is that no one in New York seems concerned about the coronavirus. Everybody's walking around. There's no panic. Certainly we're yeah, not all in panic. This theater. But on the subway, I see so many people with masks now yeah. that it makes me feel like but, more aware of but it. But being in the city, yeah, so far no would, one's been yeah, like acting a, weird. Yeah, people have not been weird. But we're excited. We literally ran here because we're running late for our, our dinner, dinner reservation. Oh. What did you think of the play? The play was so cool. It reminded really me cool. at home. It was like small country town. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was different from what we what we're used to. Yeah, watching. it was like more. It was more about the story, less about like the theatric yeah. like music and stuff. It was stuff. really good. It, it was, was like the story and the good acting. Was, yeah, it was cool. Yeah. No singing though. Yeah, but we're literally out of breath. Yeah. Yeah, no singing, focused on the story, you need to follow. I, th I thought they did a good job of keeping your attention. Yeah, agreed, yeah, and like, yeah. just telling you yeah. what the story was. A lot was of funny about. parts, too, which I wasn't yeah. expecting that funny. Yeah, really good. I was not expecting that funny for the play, so. You should definitely watch it on Broadway. We're at Claw Taddy's. We literally just ran here. So something happened to the audio here. I'm not really sure why you can't hear anything, but here's a menu. There was a lot going on. They gave us bibs and Caleb was trying to figure out how exactly to put his on. They gave us gloves and even scissors so we could cut the crab. He finally put on the uh, bib. So good job there, babe. <laughs> but, oh, never mind. Um yep he finally put it on and here's them bringing out the food food we got crabs we got shrimp potatoes and even corn it was definitely a lot of food that we were excited to just eat and as you can see we demolished it and caleb was still trying to finish the last last bits which he did all right all right, you guys, we're just gonna end the night. We ended up getting some dessert from our favorite bakery place. I got a cheesecake, Caleb got cookies, a cupcake, and a slice of cake. He went all out and some like powdered donuts. So we're just gonna do that, drink some tea, eat our pastries, and then end the night. Thanks for watching this vlog.